so I thought I would catch you up on some of the things that I've been doing. And I'm currently in a swap where I am supposed to be making some cloth paper or paper cloth or whatever you call it. And I've watched several videos of how to do it. And this is the process so far. I'm kind of in the middle of it and I thought, well, why don't I just put on the video and see. <laughs> so you can see um, how this is coming along and how it's not coming along. But um, I'm enjoying it. Basically what you do is you get something that has a wax backing. I have here a freezer paper. Uh, you can use various types of wax paper, different types of papers. And then you put a thin fabric in the back. And most people will put a thin muslin. But I didn't have any. So um, what I did is I had some, I don't know, you probably can't see see it because it's over on the edge too far out of camera but it's basically a gauze and it's a cream colored gauze that I just happened I've had some for years and so <clears throat> so I decided to use it so I put the gauze first I put some I'm using up some of the different different uh, decoupage and glues that I have just some of a little bit of so I figured I'll use all those up I added uh, a quarter uh, water to it, whatever amount I had, I added a quarter of that amount of water to it. And then I put a coat of it on the waxed side of the freezer paper. Then I laid down the gauze on top of it. And then now what I'm doing is I'm putting down tissue paper that I have already um, stamped. Um, these are all stamps that I did. This here, all the clocks are napkins that I received in a swap. And, and then there's just other little things that I have stamped on the tissue paper. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. And the brush I have is, I used a big brush for, hold on, for um, doing the, the large piece. But I'm going to put some of these small things that I stamp. And I don't need that big of a brush. Hold on. Okay. So I've added water to this. This is Americana Decoupage. That's how it's spelled, but who knows how they say it. It's not spelled decoupage, but that's probably what they call it. Anyway, forget that. So this is tissue paper that, that I stamped. So that's what I'm filling in all these gaps with. And we... We'll fill it up. Now I already made one. I'm supposed to make two different, two different uh, types or two different colors, two different patterns, whatever you want to call it. So I did one already, and I was kind of scared because it took forever to dry. When I say forever, it took, you know, basically a couple of days. And it's, it's still drying even more. It, it was dry enough for me to peel it off of the, um, of the backing, the, the um, freezer paper. But it was still kind of tacky. And I checked it earlier, and it, it's still getting harder all the time, so it must take forever. But, you know, you have to put a lot of glue, and then... The backing is, you know, like wax paper, so it's not porous, so everything gets sucked into the cloth in the back, so that's why you know, it does take quite a lengthy time to dry. 
but today is, what is today? Today is late, late Wednesday night, and yesterday, Tuesday, I went up, I'm like probably out of frame, right? I can't move this, this is a pretty big piece. I went up to Canvas Core with some ladies that get together and they bring their little stash with them and they do their art stuff and Shannon was there and so we had a good time teaching the ladies not to throw anything away. They started throwing stuff away and we go, no! <laughs> They thought we were crazy, but they'll be converts soon. I am quite confident before you know it, they're going to be going to the trash, too. <laughs> okay, so you put all of this down, and then also you can put little other little thingamajiggers, pieces of lace and stuff and stuff and stuff <laughs> and let's see what else I can put on here oh I have this tissue paper it'll probably be out of frame um it out of frame haha -ha! it's a frame but it's tissue paper and it's kind of cute Scissors here. I have this lace. Ooh, kind of long. It's a piece of um, I think it was a curtain or something. But it has these these cool um. Hold on. Here we go. Let me glue it down here. Let me see where am I going to put it. Just put some glue down anywhere. This thing's going to take two weeks to dry anyway. Anyway, well, you can't see it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. You probably can't see it, but I can see it. But it's a little fleur de lis in the... Um, here, let me show it to you before I actually glue it down. There's a little fleur de lis there. And I think it'll look kind of cute. So anyway, this is what I've been up to, trying to get this done. Went up to Canvas Core, and I worked on my journal, the one that I'm filling up all the pages with the napkins. Some ladies came up to visit Shannon and brought oodles of napkins, and we were so excited. We were planning on doing that even before we knew that they were bringing all these napkins so it was perfect so I got to use a couple of the ones that that they brought and then I also have been working on my reverse collage um, book slash magazine <laughs> journal <laughs> whatever you want to call it so I've been working on that and that's been fun it's slow going because I got so many other things going on that I don't really spend too much time on any one thing. I like to do a variety of things. I get really bored really quick. So I just move on to the next thing. So I'm going to continue doing this. And I will come back. I won't come back and show you this one necessarily because this will take days. But after I'm done with this, I will show you the other one that I made. And I will show you also what I did in my napkin journal and what I did also um, in my other journal, the reverse collage. And so I will be right back with all that stuff. Alrighty, I finished that particular uh, sheet of um, 
cloth paper, paper cloth. So I uh, I took it over so it could start drying. It's probably going to take two or three days to dry. <laughs> but I wanted to show you the one that I made the other day, which is, um, you know, actually it's still curing. It's still a little damp in the back, to tell you the truth. But I made a big giant sheet, and the ones that we're going to be exchanging are supposed to be 8 by 10. So I've kind of already cut it down. And as you can see, it's got different papers. This is um, napkin. Um, this is some tape. This is some tissue paper. There's some lace down there. Uh, I covered it with some tissue paper from a pattern. And then here's some napkins. You can probably, you know, recognize some of them. Here's another napkin, a bird. And I put some sparklies in there. And then this is the gauze fabric I told you about. So I think if I had used some fabric that was a little thicker, it would have absorbed, you know, more of the glue than just sitting on top of this and taking forever to dry. But um, but I was told it does take quite a long time to dry. And then here I have some more lace and some more lace around here and some napkins and sparklies and all that kind of good stuff. And then this was on the sides that got cut off. So I might make some tags or something out of this, but it's pretty neat. It's fun. So you might want to try that. There's a lot of videos out there that show how to do it. I am not the one to ask. <laughs> because uh, this is my first try and while we were up there when I was up there in Springdale at Canvas Core like I mentioned before some ladies are very generous and they had dropped off a bunch of napkins when they visited with um, Shannon so I did a few more in here for those of you that have seen this for the first time I got at the end of the year one of these, um, like calendar, what are these called? Mm, daily something somethings. <laughs> it just says calendar, but anyway. And they, their pages were very, very thin. But I thought, well, if I go through and put napkins on each page, that would kind of you know, make it a little bit thicker, and then I can come back and decide what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to collage on it, or if I'm going to draw in it, or whatever I'm going to do. So that's what I've been doing, slowly, but I I have a few that are done, as far as the napkins on the pages. I really haven't done anything to them yet. Excuse me. And then it's been suggested that when you're working on things that this ha has this kind of binding, that you work in the front, you work in the back, and you work in the middle, so it stays it stays at the right angle as opposed to getting really wonky and fat in one area or the other. So I followed the suggestion. I'm a, I'm a good girl. And so I have some in the back. This this napkin is pretty cool. Uh, I did do a little bit to it. I came in and put a little bit of watercolor in the back just to kind of tone it down. And I like how it kind of looks. So I think the rest of it I'm going to basically doodle this one to death because it's kind of simple and soft. I think it's pretty.
this one I just put a bunch of scraps on there. this of course. <laughs> See my pee box. Now on this one, this right here is one napkin and I got this from one of the ones that the ladies brought down and then I already had one that had a bunch of fish so I cut out all the little fish separately and had them coming over, you know, floating around in the water, and I think it came out kind of cute. I'm not done yet with it, but I kind of like the way it's coming out. So that's all I've done in this particular one. Then in my reverse collage one, I think I've done a few more since I showed you what I was doing. And again, for those of you that this is your first time seeing this, the reverse collage, the concept is, instead of me cutting this out and gluing it in another journal and collaging with it, you would come in and color, paint everything else out to create the focal point of whatever it was that you would have normally cut out. And that become, becomes the... Um, the beginning of your art journal page. So that's what I'm doing in this particular um, this particular book. This was something that I got when Hastings went out of business and I think it was something like 25 cents or something. So that's what I'm doing. I'm you know I'm painting out the parts I don't want. So this here was the table of contents and I thought this was pretty and I painted that out. And then what then I'll come back later and decide if I'm going to draw or if I'm going to uh, collage over what I'm going to do with my pages. On this particular page, I only like these two things. And there was already green back here in the background, so I just continued the green. All this right here was the original background. And then I just filled in the rest. A similar color. This one here, I just tried to follow through with the basic background color that was already on this side. And followed it through over here. Same with this. Now, on this month, this is about the only page I've really worked on. On this page, what was originally here was um, this, this, and these three pages. I mean pictures. And, and this was here. So I colored everything else out and to kind of mimic the screen that was back here. And then it already had, you can't see it too much because I painted over it, but it had these little branches there. And so I just decided to follow through with that. So I used the branches, I used the general shape of his tail, and that's how I did that one. I still might come back and do a few things to it, but it's basically done. And here again, just blocked it all out with some paint. This was the original background right here. And then I just painted all that out. Same here. This was originally the purple. And then I just didn't like anything on this page. And didn't like anything here either. <laughs> so that got painted out. Anything here. I started this, I have one coat on that. I might put another coat. Or I might leave it the way it is.
They look kind of mysterious, all three of these ladies, so I thought I'd just paint it black. And let's see. Oh, this one was, um, it was just this fish right here. And then I took that napkin that I used in that other one, and I put the seahorse, and I put the fish, and now I'm going to come back, and I'm going to blend them in so that you just, um, you know, you don't see all the white and stuff that's around there. I'll come in with the blue and kind of blend that in. Maybe not. Oh, I guess just haven't done anything to that. It's just red. That might be all that I have done. Yep, I think so. So that's pretty much what I've been up to as far as these particular journals are concerned. I uh, I just, if I don't have anything that I'm doing, I'll just come in and find a page and then just try to, to paint it out and sit it to the side and then do something else while it's drying. And that's about it for these two journals so far and my, my attempt <laughs> at my cloth paper. I think it's kind of cool. It's fun. The other one is just, as you saw before, it's just going to be black and white. And then I put some silver sparkles on it. And um, that's it. So in three days, hopefully it'll be dry. And I'll be able to cut these up. And I'll be able to send them off to my swap partner. Okay. Again, I hope I've inspired you to do something new, something different. And don't be afraid to do something that you have never done before. Because it always is fun.